Mario collection video as of May 24th, 2022, 4 20, 4 25 p.m. on Tuesday. So, yeah, I changed up my collection a bit and decided why not on my, um, the reason why I couldn't really do much water rail collection videos, um, in a long time is because, you know, storage on my cameras, all that crappy bull crap. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <sighs> Um, but, yeah. Anyways, let's get started over here, on, like, on this side. So, here we got the Alarworks EAR 10WH. There's a 40% chance of rain showers. There's a limit 50. My favorite, my favorite radio. Even better than the black EAR 10, because, you know, it's got neat design. And plus, you can even see the, you can even see most of the logos better. You can see the... Other, you could see the wavy part in the public alert logo better, and you could see part of the no, and you could see the no water radio logo better. Mm. Hey, at least they made the text for the alert works on the logo white for that one. This one's black, but I don't care. Uh, here's a little alert test of it. Mm, so yeah. Activates first header. Um, and now here we got the Radio Shack 12 382. It was 67 degrees and fair. Detroit City Airport, it was 68 and fair. It flipped fair and 66 degrees. At all, it was 67 and fair. Look, like it's fair. Everywhere. Here, it was 65 and fair. Observations yeah, from the rest of Northern Michigan. It's fair everywhere. It was partly sunny with a temperature of 66 at Grand Rapids and 60 at Traverse City. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 68 at Muskegon, and 62 at Tri-Cities. It was fair, with a temperature of 61 at Delpina, 65 at Houghton Lake, 69 at Lansing, and 71 at Kalamazoo. Now looking to the Upper Peninsula. At Marquette, it was sunny, with a temperature of 64. In Sault Ste. Marie, it was fair, with a temperature of 65. A few out-of-state locations. So, it was partly sunny, okay. with a temperature of 63 at Chicago, and 64 at Cleveland. At Toledo, it was fair, with a temperature of 70. Once again at Detroit Metro Airport, it was fair, with... I love, I love how it keeps saying fair for some reason. Port National Weather Service Detroit, Pontiac through 4... But yeah, there's the 3-2. Just like this bad boy. This is no weather. Activates for center. 519. Speaking radio. The station broadcasts from the National Weather Service in White Lake at a frequency of 162.55 megahertz. One of my favorite Radio Shack radios, considering that it speaks and yeah, it's got a pretty neat design to it. Um, and yeah, let's do a quick alert test. Yep, pretty much that. It's kind of pretty loud. It will say. <laughs> so yeah, at three, it's first header, of course. I got AUX, AM, FM, WX, and Skyward. Pretty neat radio with five memory, um, mem memory programmed onto it. So yeah. Um, and we even got the Midland W100 early version 5. Looks like the decoder's starting to revive itself again because it's not because it's starting to activate more now. Because it's been activating for almost like every single weekly test this month. Yeah. Got this back in February of 2021. And it's pretty neat. Third header, of course, as you guys know. Midland WR10. And note that I just learned that the reason why this high pitch is because it's a 2010. So not gonna lie, that's pretty amazing. I'm not. I think I may be the only one that even has a 2010 version. But yeah, Lord test. So light flashing. Yeah, you can tell the other way that's 2010 because the siren is kind of high pitched. 
yeah that. And here we got the Radio Shack 12-991. Hines in the upper 70s. It's a pretty neat radio, I will say. Let's go to... I'm gonna, let's try to do the alert test. I believe it's alert type. Oh no. It's alert mode. Keep on forgetting which one has a certain test on it. Come on, there we go. Alert mode, voice. Pretty neat. Got this back in June to 2019. I remember on my back in June 2019 when the day I first got this, I was staying home from school, of course. Um, um, I was on KHP 97 and there was severe weather happening, and I was trying to see if this thing would go off, but it didn't. And I knew, and now I know why. It was because I did not turn on any of the alerts, which means that it wasn't activating, or maybe I just had the alert. Switch turned off or something because it did not go off or anything. I did not hear it go wee wee or anything like that. And I had a monitor in KHP 97, of course. So, yeah, back when there was no scratchy and shitty. Yeah. Midland area on 20B. 2.41 in the relative humidity, 31%. Got this on July 20th, 2019, which was the first, which was the day of my first ever enhanced risk in the community. So, yeah. Very nice, I will say. My friend's dad gave this to me. It's awesome. And they like it. Sadly, I lost the faceplate, but it doesn't matter. And the uh, same GNCC Radio Plus, a radio that barely even anyone has. But it's pretty cool. It was cloudy with a temperature of 68 at Muskegon. And if I'm correct, I believe on my Los Angeles EAS has this radio because I, uh, I saw a video. And yeah, Los Angeles EAS has this radio, so I thought it would be the only one, but Los Angeles EAS has it too. It's got weather alert, got it's got your usual auxiliary AM, FM, TV, and WX. It's pretty cool. And got the little weather alert thing. Just gotta hold it down. Yeah. So yep. Um now we're on to the shelf part which is right here mm. so hold on let me check what I should well fuck off Tallahassee um, anyways as I was saying we're gonna go up to the top here we got the Midland ER210 Yes. This is actually my first ever radio I got. If you guys did not see the unboxing the other day back in March 10, 2018. First ever radio I got. It's pretty awesome. First alert on it. I believe it was a leak short flow warning. Sadly, I can catch that because I didn't know what it was. Because, of course, the siren is constant. But, yeah. It's pretty cool. Caught my The first alert I caught off this thing was a severe thunderstorm warning. That was for Linaway Monroe back on May 2nd. 2018. Pretty neat radio. Here we got the alert works the IR10 black. Similar to that, but different color. Pretty neat. I hate when it double taps it. Alert test, it's the same as usual. First header. Pretty loud, of course. Early morning then becoming mostly cloudy. Um, the antenna, the, or no antenna, because I ripped it off actually. But it still works either way. And I lost the face plate, so yeah. I'm gonna have to be careful with the screen. Okay, now, here we got the Midland ER50. Oh my gosh, stop vibrating phone. Here we got the Midland ER. Oh my gosh, I hate when. I can't even turn off vibrating on this thing, and it's dumb. Here we got the Midland ER50. Oh my gosh, I hate this phone. Midland ER50. Finally. Thursday, showers and chance of thunderstorms. So 
a better version of the ER-10. Oh my gosh, I hate this phone. It's, it's a better version of the ER-10. And by that I mean, it's bigger. There's a new, oh my gosh, I hate when my ER-50 does that. Oh my god, new, oh my gosh, stop vibrating! It's got a new alert tone that goes ear, and yeah. And it has a charger! One thing that Midland should have added to the version 2 when they were thinking about making the ER-10 version 2. Ah. And, of course, as you guys know, it has a backlight. If Midland even tries to make another version of the ER-10, they better make it like the same thing as this. They better include a backlight in it. See? There's a backlight in it. And they better put a charger in it. Because if they don't, then... So, and of course has its own rechargeable battery unlike that ER-10 where you would have to keep going to the store and buying numerous AAA batteries which would waste your money while was Midland thinking so uh, yeah and also the antenna is not right here it's right here it's right next no alert test of course but yeah mm. And now we're on to this part. Um, here we got the Eton Solar Link up for 600. This is the second one I have. And fair. Observations from the. Um, I have um the one I've had since May 2018. That one's lost for good. Because yeah. we haven't been able to find it ever since. So that sucks, but at least I got a new one. All right. Sadly, the antenna broke off. Um, during a severe weather event on Saturday. But it still gets good reception, just like the alert works. And no alert test, but it does have a SOS siren. So yeah. Here we got the Eton Zongar Plus. Another de another devil brick they have. Had this since um April 2020. Pretty neat, pretty neat radio, I will say. Um I got my Zongard, my original Zongard, back in November of 2019. Not on my birthday, but yeah. Okay, and now and I even got the alert modules. Still a little tested, you know, the t -t 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 thing. And why not test out the alert modules? The room volume, boy, I hate that. AM FM as well. And here we got the Ordnance Scientific Diver 601N. I got this radio in a trade with Wilmington, Ohio EIS and Weather Radio Guru. Um, I gave Weather Radio Guru my, um, no, uh, not, um, I gave Weather Radio Guru my other block EIR 10, the one that does not have the alert blocky feature. Um, and of course, um, but where real guru did not- Oh my gosh, stop vibrating! Oh my gosh, I hate this one. And of course my- And of course, um, where real guru did not give me anything, but that's okay because I don't tell how he is, of course. He was part of the trade, so he gave me his wf 601 n Pretty neat. If you want to go check out this radio, then you can see it in some of his old videos. Um, but that were before he- sh That was before March 2022. Some of his old water radio videos before March 2022. So, yeah. And here we got the Raycom R1650A. Miles per hour. Yeah, and let's have a force. Thunderstorm. I was able to get 88.1 until the shelf got moved, so that sucks. But whatever. 
Um, and I got this off eBay, of course. It was for a pretty cheap price. Um, and I gotta lie, I like this radio. We'll do a little science test. Awesome radio. And now, here we got the Sanjian CL100. Partly cloudy in the morning and clearing. Highs in the upper 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. I use this for aux because I don't have a working speaker for my computer. So, actually, the speakers on my computer do work, but of course, they're not as loud as I expected them to be. So, I have to use this. Um, it got AM, FM, of course, and aux and whatever. We got your siren test with all three sirens. Morning. Watch. Advisory. Pretty neat. And here we got the. Also, I got this on my birthday in November 2021, November 13th. If you guys want to go check out that unboxing? It's pretty cool. Um. And here we got the Radio Shack 12-260. Good afternoon. Waves. One of the radios I've been wanting for a while. I got this at my local thrift store in Valley World. It's pretty neat. It's awesome. And I like it. Um, that store is also where I got that CC Radio Plus right over there. Um, and yeah. Um. And it's also where I got... So yeah, alert test. I have the alert switched on off, so it does not like blast constantly. So yeah. Here we got the Midland of Air 300 version 5. It's also a 30. South winds 10 to 15 knots. Like I just told you, I got this at Valley World. And November 2018. Pretty nice. Alert test. Pretty neat radio. We got AMF of two. No problem facing. Um, okay. Next radio. Now, here we got the first alert of X 150. Five to ten knots bearing to the northwest in the afternoon. I got this radio off eBay from Antonio. It's a pretty neat radio, I must say. Thanks again, Antonio. Ten knots. And I like it a lot. Let's do a little scientist. It's actually the first ever radio I got from this company. So yeah, got this back in, I believe. Yeah, I got this back in February. Forgot which data. Okay, now we're right down here next to my computer. Um, right, right next to this bulky crap. Um, let me just check my DMs. Okay, now here we got the. Emerson CKW 2000. I got this on the day of the Durancho, actually, August 10th, 2020. That unboxing is also, of course, on my channel. And yeah, let's do a quick siren test. It sounds like a telephone, of course. Same with that, too, kind of. Same with the first word. Kind of sounds like. Um, and of course I got AM FM. It's pretty neat. Let me see if I can get 88.1 of this. Nope. Nope. No way. Nope. Still good, anyway. Now, here we got my Midland Ever 100 version 5 that I played, that I painted black and silver. Please do not get mad at me for it. It's not actual paint, and... There's nothing bad with it. It's just Sharpie and some marker. It's not permanent. It's not permanent. It's just Sharpie and some silver marker from the company Milwaukee. Mm, yeah. Works fine. I've had this since 2019 and then, and then I painted it this black and silver, painted this as a black and silver back in January 2021.
She got accused of it, but we're not gonna talk about that. Brooke's okay, it has never done the squeal of death to me. So that's good. I don't know how to torture it. Good. And now the forecast for the Ann Arbor and Detroit descent. Now here we got the Midland Devry Island 20 EZ modded. It's uh white. I got this in a another trade with Wilmington, Ohio EAS, where I gave him my um I forgot the model. Frick. Um, I believe it was... Hold on. Hold on, let me look at my D. Let me look at my DMs of Paradigm Me, because... Yeah, I just forgot. I just... I forgot. What, what the deal is. So... Okay, now I know. Um, so according to Peridot, it's the BC60 XLT-1, um, yeah, that's the one, the BC6, um, the BC60 XLT-1 is the one I gave to Peridot, um, or Wilmington, Ohio, yeah, yes, I accidentally called him by his score name, um, and he gave me his modded wr 20 EZ. It's pretty nice. In the upper Nothing bad has happened to it, but yeah. I had to put the backlight on normal because according to Paradox, if I keep the backlight on, then that's when I'll start doing out like really bad. So I'm gonna keep this on normal. And it looks like it's starting to go back to normal, so that's good. Okay. Now let's do a quick alert test. I'm not sure what this stuff is that's on the faceplate, so, uh, um, Wilmington, Ohio, Projections, or EAS, whatever you want to call me, if you're watching this, um, it, just asking, what is this stuff on the faceplate, because that's what I've been wondering ever since I got it, <laughs> and along with that, um, warning light, why is it huge, why, why is that part of the warning light, like, huge, not like, Huge, but like kind of big. Okay, now we're going to go to some of the radios that are dead. And yeah, this parts only Midland W100 version five. I destroyed this because, of course, it tortured me. It's been doing the squeal death ever since I first bought it, and back in August 2018, it's August 2nd, 2018, first ever 100 I got. But it deserved torture since it hasn't been working at all even with the methods my dad tried doing by like just repairing the antenna all the outer crap never worked so yeah I took out the button board and crap like that so yeah I'm not taping that together it deserves no life and here we got the Organ scientific director dozen. This one's not dead. I just don't use it as much. No, I'm not. I'm not. So I'm not trading it. I got this from my other friend's dad. It's pretty cool. I've been wanting one of these for a while now. I got it. I'm gonna need one more C battery though for this because I got, I only got two and I need one more. I wouldn't want to use the adapter I'm using for the my black alert works, but of course, yeah. I need it for my black alert. So. The door, the little door flap, like right here. That's this little door flap right here keeps falling off. This way. And now here we got the Recom R1630D. Got this back on September first, twenty twenty one. Back when um, uh, back when I did way worse damage to the. Um, uh, to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and some other areas than it did back in the Gulf Coast. If you guys want to check out that, if you guys want to check out the videos about Ida, then just search it up. Or check out a, compila a compilation that Cyclonic Strikes made. 
um, about Hurricane Ida from August. But yeah. Um, about the normal crap, but of course, one thing is that the tuner keeps having a stroke. That's why when I plug it into its normal adapter, whenever I plug it into its normal adapter or any other type of adapter, the tuner just goes to crap. But whenever I put in batteries, is when it acts normal. So, I don't know why it does that. The Eton FRX3. Correction, I did not get this on October 2nd. Um, uh, I thought I got it on October 2nd. Um, I'm, I'm not, I did not get this on October 3rd. I thought I got it on October 3rd. I got this on October 2nd. The first alert on it was a tornado warning on October 3rd, 2021 for Oakland County. It activated, of course. I had it on alert. But of course, no tone, which sucks. I don't like how it does that with most etons. I don't really use it as much, but I'm not trading it, of course. Because that's a radio I've also been watching. Midland, 74200. No adapter for this. Still keeping it, though. And I lost the battery case, so that sucks. And now the worst of them all. A 2008-262. It sucks ass. It's a 2008, so of course, it deserves no life. Bye-bye, you're going with the piano. Never deserved any life anyway. Um, okay. The Midland Underground Hunter version 5, another one I have. This one does work, but most of the time it does a squeal. Most of the, because that's problems with like most of the time it works, and most of the time it doesn't, so that's dumb. And here we got the Eton Zone Guard. Something wrong with it is that the adapter, adapt, like the port, kind of like shifted a bit. I hate the focus. On this camera. Oh my gosh, I hate the focus on this camera. It sucks ass. But yeah, pretty much the AC, um, the AC, um, the port kind of shifted a bit, so it's kind of hard for me to charge it now. So I'm, most of the time, I'm gonna have to use batteries to avoid from resetting. I'm still keeping it, but I'm probably gonna need to get a new zone guard to fix that problem because I don't know why it's doing that. Which stuff. But yeah, otherwise it works. But yeah. And I'm too lazy to go through the rest, so... Uh, well, actually, why not wait to do it? Let's start here. Midland, year 102. One of my... A radio that used to be my favorite, but after the WX <laughs> tuner and the siren tuner died, not anymore. And along with the faceplate cracks, so go back in there and um at the you on um, the uterine gm gmr 2a9 tck got this in a trade with fire weather um i gave him my bc 860 xlt and he gave me his, one of his unit walkie talkies so now this is pretty much the only um unit i have but i don't really care um the one of the mid oh, actually there we go. two Midland GX came out of before so I still use these but yeah not much no. so here we got the Oregon Scientific WR108 it came with the water station but I don't know where it is and here we got a Midland doesn't even show me the model number Wait, it shows it on the battery, case, so, see, it shows it right in here, so, it's the T20. Nice. Don't use it as much, but I still keep it. Got this back on the spring of 2019. It's pretty nice. And I think that's going to be awesome. I'm too lazy to go to the others now. So, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this what a real collection video like comment subscribe and i have a little bit taken my storage and i will see you all later
peace out.